Hey guys, it's your girl Reese coming to you with a requested video. I had one of our sugar babies request me doing an up to date video on how I do barbecue pig feed. So we're here today to show you how I do barbecue pig feed. Welcome everybody. I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves this beautiful Sunday. And the way I'm going to prepare this is just simple. Not a whole lot of ingredients. I know everybody's taste buds are different and people, you know, add different things, but I don't, okay? I just basically do a little salt, a little cayenne pepper, water, and barbecue sauce. That's it. Um, just the simplicity of it is enough for me. Now, people like garlic, y'all like onion, you like all of that kind of stuff, fine. That's what y'all eat. But I just like simple, okay? So I have my pack of... Um, now this is expensive compared to what we usually pay. I'm gonna show you. Now, there used to be a store we would go to, it was a meat store called Premier Meats, and they would sell the whole pig feet. But we haven't been able to find those, so here is, it's been cut in half, okay? It's been cut in half. And what you look for, you wanna see if there's any hair, like right here, there's some hair, and you cut that off. Any imperfections, uh, you make sure you cut that off and you rinse them well. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to dump them all out in the sink. If they don't have anything going on, then we're not going to worry about it, okay? Alright, so, I'm rinsing them all between the toes. Just like you're giving them foot massage. You got to get them feet clean, okay? Now, a lot of people add vinegar. I don't add vinegar. I don't. If you have problems with your blood pressure, then you know what kind of things you can eat or what you can't. So, I don't add vinegar. Okay. Looking for anything, feeling for anything different that you don't want on it. Okay. And these are pretty, uh, pretty clean. Making sure you get the bone fragments off. And I like to wash my meat in hot water. I don't know about nobody else. Um, certain things you know you can't wash in hot water because it'll start the cooking process. And yes, my sink was sterilized before I started to do this. And I will clean it again afterwards. Rinsing all those bone fragments off. Okay. And this is that piece that had the hair on it. So let me grab a knife. Or my scissors. Hold on. that off cut that extra skin off of there if i if my scissors ain't dull <laughs> which they are dull as can be <laughs> so let's just get us some knife let's see can we get that off for of them okay Ain't nothing uh, sharp today. What is going on? There we go. We're making a little progress here. We're going to flip that back if we can. I'm struggling, y'all. Do y'all see that? <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm struggling. There we go. My goodness. We're going to rinse it off again. Okay. So, we got all of those rinsed off. I'll be right back. Okay. So, now, I got my pot. And I'm getting ready to add my pig feet to my pot. We're going to add them to the pot. Okay, and we're going to cover them with some water. 
and I'm adding cold water. Now what I'm going to do, a lot of times when you're cooking meat, you don't want to cover your meat completely. But I am with this. Because I'm going to let these cook until they are tender. And once the water begins to evaporate, I will add more water as I go. So I want to cover these completely with water. It's not going to boil the taste out of them. Because the taste is going to come from the salt and from the cayenne pepper that I'm going to add to it. Okay, so there we go. Alright, we're going over to the stove. Okay, we're going to add about a teaspoon of salt, okay? And we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, okay? And that is it. We're going to let these boil, and I can't tell you how long to let them boil. You're going to boil them until when you take a fork and stick in it that they or you try to pick it up that they start to fall apart, okay? That's how tender you want them because so once these cook, I will come back to show you um, what they look like when I get ready to add the barbecue sauce. Okay, guys. We are back. We are now at the state to where I'm getting ready to take. Y'all see how that skin is moving? That lets y'all know these things are done. So all I do is take them out of the pot and put them in a pan. Okay, we're going to take all of these out and we're going to put them in a pan. And we're going to put these in the oven for about 20 minutes. Y'all see how that is? Look at that. How to see how that skin has separated from that bone? Mm -hmm. Now, if you are the type of person, everything has to be uniform and lined up, make sure you turn your pig feet over to where the skin is showing. It don't matter to me because we're going to put barbecue sauce all over these bad boys. Okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Putting them down in here, okay? Last one. Okay. Now, I like to use the Kraft Original Barbecue, barbecue Sauce. It gives you the right amount to me of accent mm -hmm. that you need. Um, I'm not quite sure about another type of barbecue sauce because this is all I've ever used on it. You know, it just gives me the flavor that I'm looking for. Yeah. It doesn't give you a real mustard flavor. Which is not what I'm looking for, but gives you a little bit of sweet, a little bit of tang. The cayenne pepper will give you a little bit of heat. Okay? And you're just going to put this barbecue sauce all over. Okay? Okay. all down in there okay and there you have it now you're gonna let these bake for 20 minutes and um i don't have to put them in covered i'm gonna leave them uncovered because they are actually done they don't really need to cook anymore you just need them to marinate in this barbecue sauce okay and i have my oven on um 350 you can even put it down. If you want a slow simmer, you can put it down on 300 and leave it in there for an hour. Okay? But I'm going to do it at 350 and we're going to leave them in there for about, about 20 minutes. Okay? And um, I'll come back and show you guys what they look like. And I thank y'all for watching. See y'all in a little bit. Okay, guys. Here are our finished barbecue pig feet. Okay? This is the way I like my barbecue pig feet to look. This is the way we like them to look. And so, this is it. Um, I will share with you a picture of our plates after everything is done. But I thank you so much for watching. And I hope this helps somebody. Hugs, kisses, and many blessings, guys.
Bye, sugar.